Good morning, Polly's Island peeps. Today is January 9th, 2021. And it is time for your Polly's Island sunrise and surf report with Dave and Lisa Clayton. Lisa has found an X. She's found a hopefully a three star or three bar rather area for us to stand. So let's go find where that X is. We are at the south end of Polly's today. <laughs> so I think she's standing in the in the X. Let's find it. <clears throat> Good morning, Julie. All right, the X marks the spot. You did a circle? That's nice. Do we? So we have two bars. Oh, no, no. We need yes. a three bar. You got to stand in the circle. And start walking forward. Okay. <laughs> wow. I've got two bars. Get over here. Okay, let's find the three. Now, say, satellite must have moved. Two bars. Well, just keep going. That's okay. Don't go right. We're trying to find as many bars as we possibly can, y'all. Well, it was funny, when I first sat there, I had four. Like, Did you really? Yeah. And then you immediately circled the area? Yeah. I don't see the circle. Okay, the stone. Maybe that's the stone. Oh, that's cool. Now look at this. Now your bars pop back. Stand where the panda bears are. <laughs> That's funny. See, now you got your bars again. See? Look at my bars. Good. See? I'm I've got one, you've got three. Yep. That's kinda crazy. That is a little crazy. Step over here. Maybe I need to hold the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here. No, no. <laughs> Good morning, Carla. We're gonna pray that your little signal holds out. But that's yeah. weird. Mm. So, what Ma have you said so far? I've, I haven't really said much. I've said okay. good morning, Polly's Island peeps. Today and is? I said it was January 9th. You didn't say Saturday? I did not, or Sad Sad Burr. Yeah, Sad, sad Burr Day. I did not say <laughs> Sad Burr Day. It is a little nippy out here. 39. All the adjectives you could use, really? It is. It is chilly. It is chilly. George says we need to put a tower on the island <laughs> just for us. How funny is that? Oh, how funny. Well, you know, phone signals are really crazy, but praise on phone signals out here because when you were on that kayak and it was going down, Oh, that's true. Imagine if you could not have, I mean, it's like our friend said he never got a signal where you guys were. Never. And you got a signal that day because God threw you a lifeline. That's true. Who knows where you'd be? You'd be floating to the Bahamas still. Yes. Good morning, Carla. Oh, goodness. Yeah, my husband and his lovely escapades in the water. <laughs> so the wind's out of the northwest. We can feel it. It's kind of... <laughs> you come, ignored it. I am. We're quickly off this subject. No, like sitting in the parking lot. Talking to the emergency vehicle crew. All right, so you have to... You can't just assume everyone knows the story. So I, I guess you have to... You, it's yeah, not it's fair fine. to... They can they can use their imagination. Goodness gracious! He forgot to, the main. The, the, it's easy to sum up. He forgot to put the plug in the kayak. That's why the other day when he was going on the kayaks, I kind of looked at him, but I uh, I knew his 
buddy was uh Rob, right? Yeah, Rob knows what he's doing. Rob Rob would guide him along the way. Yes. So our goal, I'll just kind of retell this story. I cannot assume that everybody's heard this story, so I'm just going to retell it since we've told pieces of it. We went all the way down this creek, and we were going out at the mouth here in kayaks. There were two of us. And as we're starting to head out... Right down there. Yeah, right down there at the end of that point... The waves that day were kind of, they were kind of bad. So every time we were pushing out, the waves were coming up over the front of the kayak a little bit. And also the hole in the back of the kayak where you're supposed to put the plug, it kept going underwater, right? And so it kept adding water to it, like a water bottle when you put it underwater. So needless to say, by the time we got about a quarter mile out, and so why we, we were, our goal was to go camping over there on North, North Inlet. It's about a mile. It's away. about a mile that way, mile and a half. That was our goal. But we, luckily, my friend that was with me, Cody, was very buoyant <clears throat> in his kayak. And so, believe it or not, when you fill a kayak with water, especially with a tent inside of it, it goes straight down. So I was bobbing around out there about a quarter mile out and the tide was going out. Yeah. So it was just pulling out. like this. <laughs> so we ended up being about a mile out and um, I was holding on to the side of his kayak and my phone was, done and his phone he said he never has ever had bars on the south end to make phone calls or anything like that but that day a mile or a half mile out let's say he had bars so we called matt smittle who is midway well, at the time was midway fire and rescue and was not chief at the time and he alerted everybody and so next thing you know about 20 minutes later, 15 minutes later, we had a jet ski out there and I was all right. But that was the deal. That is, what is that? Okay. Why'd you hit me? What did I, what did I omit? No worries. What did I omit? Where did you call? Hey. We called Matt's middle. Who was your first call? I didn't call you. Cody called you. Oh my gosh, people. <laughs> okay. yeah. On the, on the water. I'm getting smacked. I forget the exact Yeah, order. I know you forget the order. I forget the exact order of now who we call. The craziest part of the whole ordeal is like, he, as he's sharing, why are you doing it on me? Because you're talking. Want, this so, is, Holly's saying me. it's a scary story. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a story of make sure you know what you're doing before you do things because they sound great in theory because he was all excited and they had this tent and they were going camping. But one little slip up, he did not put the plug in the kayak. And so when the kayak took on water, the tent in the kayak took off and he's sitting there bobbing in the water. Yes. I mean, and thank goodness for technology because without it, I don't know where you'd be today. Well, there's nobody, well, there, I, it's funny because you really cannot see from the beach. Yeah, when you get so far out, you cannot see. It's it's really frightening. It was a little crazy. And his Cody's wife was getting ready to have their child, their new their new baby. Yes. Because I mean, you know she's seriously like nine months pregnant when this ha is happening. So this is the crazy story about the the kayak. What? Oh yeah, the, the fact that it came back. Yeah. yeah. So this is the crazy story. You didn't see it come back. I did. What do you mean? Yeah, tell them the story. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't tell them what happened. Well, no, they loaded you and Cody up and carted you off on the little wagon. Mm-hmm. And um, it's probably about half an hour later, because um, you know some people were chatting with us. You know, we had a lot of people from our church here that day, ironically. So uh, a lot of people knew what was going on. I know. A lot of prayer, but it was a good thing. And. Um, as we're, you know, as we're standing there, the the kayak comes back up on the beach, and 
you know, here we are thinking we're never going to see this thing again. And so it's amazing how t the tide actually works because, you know, half an hour later, his kayak's back up on the beach and the backpack and everything's gone that he had. But his, um... The tent was still the in The tent, this, what, what, maybe, what? How, how much did it weigh? 70 pound tent? I don't think 70 pounds. I it think was heavy. It was pretty heavy. It, it was, was solid. 35 pounds. No, it was heavier than that. But, uh, yeah, it was still inside. And the, that was actually Cody's neighbor that he had borrowed the tent that day. So we thought we were going to all have to chip in to buy this guy a new tent. And, you know, God brought the kayak and the tent back. So it was kind of yeah. cool. That so it was. does have a happy ending. And these guys were safe and we had yes. a signal. But, so signals out here can be Yeah, funny. that's all to say that we have... We have good bars. <laughs> yeah, so not only did we meet each other out here on the beach, right here. Oh, we've had many adventures. Yes, we've had lots of adventures out here on the beach. Good morning, Michael Quinn, Coach Quinn. What's going on, Michael? man? Can't believe our kids are getting ready to graduate, Coach. Oh. I tell you what. His son is one of the nicest young men. He is. He's he so really talented. Is. Yeah. But he, just every time he sees me, he's always been just so nice and smiles and says hello. He does have I a great smile. I always appreciate that. I'll never forget the musical or the play that he was in when Aladdin. the kids, yeah, when they were little. I'll just never forget it. That was an incredible, what a memory of that. Just amazing. Six years ago. Wow. That was six years ago. And it's funny because Chelsea is sixth grade this year. Miss Miller will be doing some type of production. Not sure what though. Whew. Sorry, wind is a little chilly. So the cool thing about the south end of Polly's is the one thing you can't really see as we're waiting for our sunrise. What time is sunrise, dear? 7.20. All right, we got nine minutes. What's the cool thing about the south end? Well, that, because there is a creek on the back side. Like, do you show, like, go down there, you can show them, or you point down there. All right, I learned how to do this. Check it out. Watch this, watch this. You're going to love this. Boom. Whoops. I'm trying to zoom in. What are you booming? I learned that I can... I learned that I can zoom in on this. All right. For some reason, it's not letting me. Oh. <laughs> and Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Let's see. There it is. Look at that. But you got to get past them. Look at this. Isn't that neat? So you can kind of see where the water is going in past the sand down there. So there, and it provides a creek, and that's where we let, like, that's a great place to have your kids. Right there. I'll go a little bit further right. But okay, yeah. over there. Good deal with that big old finger. But, so, and it's a great place to have your kids swim. Not down there. No, that, well, not right that's there, where... yeah. Further on in. Yes. There's a beautiful creek, and like our church does, we do our baptisms over here, which is really amazing. This is kind of cool. I feel a little bit like I'm, uh... What are you doing? I'm... <laughs> I don't want to... Oh, no. That was fun. Uh, boys and their toys. Uh, All, All right. right. <gasps> did you see it? I did Beautiful. see it. Did anybody see it? Did y'all see it? The dolphin. There's a porpoise the right there. Oh, oh this is cool. We can zoom in and take a look at the porpoise. There he is. Yeah. Where? Oh, I missed him. So, there okay. he is. Keep watching straight ahead of us because he's going to be... Okay. Can you walk straight forward? We should be okay on the shuffle here. Well, I don't know. We got Maybe you shouldn't move. Because I'm stepping forward. I only got like a, one tiny bar. Maybe we should step back. All right. Here comes the dolphin. Do, 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 do. What a Here gift. comes the sun. Well, this leads us right to our good news today. And the cool thing about this verse is that it starts out with rejoice. Good morning, Richard. 
So when you think of rejoice, when you start your day out with a rejoice, what does that look like to you? Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. oh my goodness, I keep missing him. All right, I'm gonna have to zoom in. Why? He's gonna be way down there now. No, I'm gonna have to zoom in at the proper time. Okay. There he there is. There he is, he's, <laughs> he's moving. He's down there. The water's warm though, because the water's what, 60? The water is 59 today. Well, yeah, if it's 30 degrees out here. No, it's 44 degrees. There he is. Is it one? Or, I think it's just one. Hopefully, the little guy will be okay. He's feeding. We got lots of birds out here right now. Feeding time. So, rejoice. What does, re what does it look like to rejoice to you? It means when you see a dolphin, <laughs> you just go, wow, thank you, God, for that cool experience or when your friend stops by your work and encourages you and says hey the Broncos rule like Richard the <laughs> <laughs> you just rejoice and you say wow thank you for my friend Or when you walk out here on the beach and you just... Oh, when you get up and you have that morning cup of coffee. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Rejoice. Or that morning cup of tea. Whatever you your morning looks like. If you're one that grabs the paper, has a seat, and How... then starts your morning fire in the fireplace with your paper. <laughs> <laughs> How about your morning warm covers? Oh, gosh. That makes it difficult to get out of bed for that morning cup of coffee. But I mean, you can just lay there and just rejoice in the fact that you have warm covers. True that. It's just so much to be grateful for. So what was the rest of the verse? Rejoice? Yes, yeah, so that's the cool thing about this verse is it starts out, the Apostle Paul says, this is 2 Corinthians now. 1311. You want me to hold the phone? Because you know I can't it's read. Fine. I don't have my glasses. It's okay. <laughs> I can't see. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. All right, so break it down. Brothers and sisters, that's all of us. Yes. We may not have blood relations, yes. but we have spirit relations. Yes, we do. We have the same daddy. Yep. And he gave each of us our special, unique looks. You're good looking. And our gifts. You're good looking. Come on, dude. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm good looking as a. Uh, the wind out here is making my nose kind of trickle. That's always lovely. So you said you're going to break it down now. You said rejoice, right? We talked about that. Yep. And we talked about brothers and sisters. Yes. Now what? Aim for restoration, mending, repair. Okay. Completeness. So anything? A lot of times that could be a mental, physical. So I, I see this as relationship. Cool. Aim for restoration, relationships that are broken, that need repair. Whatever it looks like. I mean, sometimes you have to repair it differently, but restore it where it's healthy. You know, pray for healthy restoration. Putting that thing on me. They want to see the beach, not me. I'm not a beach. The beach looks amazing. Well, I just think it's amazing that during a time back in the day when Paul was writing this, that what was going on is so comparable, what, comparable to what's going on now. 
I think it's just amazing that right here in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, that what Paul is telling the church to do is to learn to agree to disagree. You think? And you think that's what it is? Agree to disagree? Well, I mean, at some point you have to realize you have to appreciate yourself, each other for our differences. And if anything, pray for truth. Right. And pray for, um, you know, and just pray for people in authority, period. Pray for anyone. Um, we'll stay on this repair yeah. thing. We're not quite yeah. on that other, okay. we're not at the peace thing yet. We're still talking about repair. Well, repair is what, you know, you can, there's only one person you can control when you repair something, and that's your attitude. Your, you know, you, you repair your attitude, your um, perception, your heart. And then, you know, you do the best you can with your perception in your heart. So the Spirit yep. is doing the work. True. The Spirit of God that is in us can help you. Yes. Yay. He is the answer for the repair. I think if we pray for the Spirit to help us in these areas to repair, and to build on the positive. The sun's gonna be coming right around there. You can see how much it's lightening up. I don't. You don't? I do. I was looking, oh look at the pelican. All right, Mr. Pelican. Squirrel. <laughs> That's a rejoice. That is not a squirrel. Look That's a moon. rejoice. I know. Did you look at the moon? Anybody that has seen up knows what I'm talking about. I know. Beautiful, sweet cartoon, bittersweet. I'm looking for the moon. You might be too far zoomed in. I might be. <laughs> there he is right there. Boom. So as we are watching a sunrise, we have a little sliver of moon right it's there. It's a crescent. We're all God's kids. We can agree on his truths. Amen. That is exactly right. It's God's truth. Look at that. Look at that calm the water is right there you couldn't even barely see a wave it's so yes tiny. and whether you're part of the 70 plus million people that voted for donald trump or you're not or the 70 million plus that voted for yeah. Biden. <laughs> yes whether no matter how divided things are there we can have unity and we're called to have unity true yes it is a it is a we don't talk politics. We're not talking politics. We are talking politics. But I mean... It's life. True. But I'm saying... You know, like... You, you, unity sometimes is not engaging in some of the conversations on Facebook. That's because, a big part of the repair. <laughs> yeah, that's a big repair. part of the repair. And, and that's just for yourself, to give yourself peace. Because engaging in that stuff can really just mess with your mind. Because for me, I know it's hard for me to understand all of it. <laughs> so, yeah. It's like, I, I did my part. I went to the polls, I voted. And then I just pray for the truth and justice to prevail. There you go. Whatever that looks like. And there's a difference between apathy and choosing peace there's a difference so back to our verse well let's stay here on this this is to me william page good morning thank you for the pictures yesterday oh, of the snow gone. yeah i know i'm so jealous Julie. that was so cool i miss i miss really we were in pigeon forge we kept saying gatlinburg but really it was pigeon forge yeah i was right around the corner from dollywood yeah and the christmas trees they were gorgeous Simon bread there was amazing. okay now that is a squirrel <laughs> that is squirrel. so you cannot tell me tread carefully that no I'm going there you cannot tell me that only one party has the Holy Spirit and the other party doesn't and we're talking politics you cannot tell me that those who have the Holy Spirit have it. Right. We, 
if no you choose Jesus, you if you yep. choose Jesus and he is your savior, then you've got the spirit of God as your helper. So as Democrats, as Republicans, as nothingins, whatever you are. They're not nothingins. Well, they might be. They I might they I'm, might choose neither. And that's why I say the independent. Yeah, I'll call it neither neitherins, whatever they are. But those people matter. Look they do that. matter. Look at them, look at them. Look at the lovely, beautiful sunrise right there. Look at you see the pinks? I do. Yeah. I'm just glad we get to see it. We all have that spirit. There's godly people on both sides. True. So we just pray for unity. And so, we pray for peace. as believers, yes. which is who Paul is talking to, we're not just hoping for unity, we're not just wanting unity. We are demanded, we are commanded to have unity as believers. And to have peace, which leads us to the next part of this scripture. We're called to comfort one another, right? We're called to comfort one another. There's a lot of people that need How do you comfort people? Lisa, how do you comfort people around you? You call them, you love them, you encourage them. You share scripture and pray with them. We have people in our community, including Lisa's mama, that are battling this virus right now. This is a physical need right now the need for prayer has never been greater Get richard and his dad rich yeah i'm telling you yeah. there are people in our community right now that are battling this virus so if it's just putting yeah some cans of soup on a neighbor's porch or making them some fresh soup whatever it looks like whatever you feel that you can do to help others just encourage them, yes. let them know you care. Let them know you're praying. And I think a big question, you know, people, you know, it's like the, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, like taking the, um, taking what love? Taking the, um, oh, Hold on. I'm just in awe of the sunrise. <laughs> Getting the shot. The oh, okay. Immunization shots. It's okay. still too early for me. I, I'm still sipping on my coffee. <laughs> we might need to go back to rejoice. Yay. That's the cool thing about this scripture is it doesn't say rejoice and then move on. Right? All day long, there's things we can rejoice about that are just incredible. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at, girl? Oh, you're cute. So pray for others. Comfort one another, Comfort. agree with one another. So there is more that we can agree with. Yeah. With each other. We can agree that. We want unity and peace. Yeah, well we can agree that we both, everybody needs to brush their teeth. Right? Yeah. That's something we all do. Hopefully. And if we don't brush our teeth, our breath stinks. Right? We can agree with that. There's lots of things, no matter... I mean, you just need to be creative about things to agree on. We can all agree that living here in Polly's Island or vacationing here in Polly's Island, whatever you're doing, is incredible. Or where you live. Is incredible. Like yes. living in Kentucky right now with the snow. That's incredible. And Charlotte got snow. We can all agree. And we can agree that this sunset, sunrise is just starting out beautifully. It is. Those silver linings on the clouds. Oh, and we got another porpoise out there. Where? Just keep straight. Don't move. 
All right, I'm gonna try to zoom in again. Uh, several. Did so to that? the right? No, they're right to the right of the sunrise. <gasps> but look at the sunrise. You can't miss that. They're gonna go like right up under the sun. Are you kidding me? This it's is like, amazing. There's a couple of them. Yay. So we can all agree. Our special gift that we can rejoice in that. Yes. And we can, we can agree that this is a beautiful sunrise. And seeing dolphins, I can't imagine anyone not enjoying seeing a dolphin. We can also agree that our health is important. Definitely. Our physical health is important. And if we, we still have our mamas, our mamas are important. Yes, our mamas are important. And our daddies. Speaking of health, uh -huh. this morning you're going to the oh, yeah, nutrition right. seminar with, what's, tell people a little bit about that real quick. It's, you've got that, um, from 10 to 12, from 10 to 12. Where is that? It's off of Egret. Yes. That's with Marianne, right? Yes. Our nutritional seminar this morning. Yes. Lisa's going to that. So come and join me. Yes, it's off of Egret. Message Lisa or Marianne. Yeah, Mar Marianne. See, it's Marianne. What's her last name again? She was on our um, our. She was a special well, guest. I sent out the thing. So if they, you if did they send do it look out? at me, then they'll see where I sent it out. Okay. Marianne Lunks. There you go. Sorry, I don't usually watch names that badly. Wow. Look at that sunrise. We're just in awe out here, so we're. Marianne Laux, L O U C K S. And she's a health coach and a yoga instructor and a functional nutrition counselor. So this morning at 10 o'clock, she is giving that, all that information. Richard Morris connected me and Lisa with Marianne because he went it's this is called next text next steps to a healthier you and it's at 64 egret run right here in Pauly's Island so hope you'll be a part of that if you're local and you want to get healthy because we can all agree that our health is important True. we can definitely agree on that not only our mental health but our physical well hello little buddy <laughs> Don't you come off that sunrise. We got a little sandpiper under our feet. And he's legit like two feet. Yeah, he's playing with us here. I can't turn it down. I mean, he's literally like coming up and kissing Lisa's feet. Uh, okay. Oop. They can tell you're, you're all over the place on the camera. It's funny. Am I? He did a circle. There he goes. And he's off. So what was the rest of the scripture? So. But it is important to find things you can agree on. So we talked about comforting one another. Simple. Are you, can you believe the sunrise? Wow. I told you, I told you it was coming. I called it. It is gorgeous, Carolyn. Beautiful day. So, so Paul says not only to rejoice, but and to aim for restoration, to comfort one another, and then agree with one another, because we have more that we can agree with. We can agree that brush our teeth keep moving well without jesus we can agree without jesus we're we're really in a world of trouble here right we can all agree with that we're believers we can agree with that we can agree that we're called to share the good news right we can agree with that so why do we get caught up on which bible is really the right one or which method of baptism is really the right one or why do we get caught up on our differences instead of 
our similarities. The most important similarities, which is Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So then Paul says to live in peace. And if we do live in that peace, that the God of love and peace will be with us. So I know we've kind of been all over the place today, yeah, but, but this scripture I think is so important today. I just love that. We have a God of love and peace. Yes, we do. I wish there was a way we could just, you notice how when you look over to the right. See, That's left. Yeah, you're left. My, yeah, my other right. So how dark it is over here with those amber colored clouds and then you've got the sun right there. I mean, it, it, it's just so cool. Did Wait. you get a picture? No. We need to get a picture of this <laughs> for Carla so she can put the verse in there. Good morning, Rob. So we take pictures because if we try to still shot it on the video a lot of times it comes out blurry it's hard to get a good still shot yes which is why when you say do we get a picture this is that's our goal just trying to get a great yeah still frame so at a time in our facebook group where we can't talk about covid and we can't talk about politics guess what we're gonna talk about both this morning, and we have, because we're not apathetic. We realize that this is important. But the Word of God says we can be in, in unity here. We don't have to be divided. And as believers in Jesus, it's not just a choice, it's a command. Isn't it, least It's a command. Yes. We have to be unified. And only Jesus can do that for us. The Holy Spirit. You ready to sign out, babe? You got more wisdom. What do you think? The South End is so pretty. We're gonna... You're giving them a shot with your head in the front. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know. That big old head. <laughs> All right. You ready to sign out? Mm -hmm. Sure. May God bless you. And keep you. And help you make his choices, the best choices for your day. And we just pray for that peace and unity that Christ can give you. Yes. And that he the wants... The best gift you could give yourself. Yes. To choose to just... Chill, you think? You think peace. that's chill? Well, okay. Well, I think Paul's laid it out. He's yeah. laid out. We start with rejoicing. <laughs> we don't have to just, I mean, there's nothing wrong with chilling. I get learn it. Learn other things. Learn, I mean, I, like my goal today is to learn something new. And so that's why I'm going to go to Mary Ann's. Yes, the nutritional workshop. coaching. Yeah, that'd be great. Everybody have an amazing day. So. At least anything else of wisdom you have. Love you. I love you. We love you guys. Have an amazing day. Thanks so much for being a part of this every morning. And see you in the morning. Yes, we choose to start <laughs> our day with rejoicing. <laughs> Today we saw porpoise. That was so cool. Have an amazing day.